Mike Mallett, Bobby Sweeney here from DirtTrackDigest.com, uh, coming to you from the Brockville, Ontario Speedway, where we just lapped up, uh, wrapped up, uh, lapped up, yeah, wrapped up the uh, loud and dirty 100 for the Super Dirt Car Series, big block modifieds, and, uh, you know, getting things back on track, I guess is the, the, the title of this one, and that would be Matt Shepard uh, coming home with a victory here tonight after starting 12th, and a uh, fantastic race for a racetrack that notoriously can go either way, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, Brockville's dealt some very challenging weather conditions for the show tonight. The bottom half of this track was underwater yesterday, and yes, it was rough, but between all the rain and it being about 35, 40 degrees outside, I'd say track conditions are pretty darn good because we had two lanes of racing all night long. If you're faster than the guy in front of you, you could just move and get by him. Yeah, we saw guys running the bottom, the extreme bottom. We saw guys running the, the cushion there early on, kind of through the middle at times as well. Uh, Matt Shepard, you know, we talked to him. We'll have an exclusive interview here on uh, our YouTube channel and Dirt Track Digest. And his car was good enough that he could pretty much go to whatever lane he wanted to go to. There wasn't one preferred groove, but once he did get to the front, that's when he decided, okay, I think the bottom's the best fit for my race car. Yeah, bottom's just, it was just a little bit safer tonight. With the exception of turn one, dig it a little bit bouncy down there, but bottom's a little bit safer because you don't run the risk of jumping the cushion and destroying your race car, kind of like Eric Rudolph did. Took a nasty ride, four or five barrel rolls, probably about halfway through that race, just hopped the cushion entering turn one and took off down the bank, up and, up and over quite a few times. Yeah, Eric Rudolph, uh, fortunately, he was okay. Uh, what happened, I was I was actually watching that when it happened. Uh, him and Demetrius Drellos, I want to say they were battling for third or fourth at the time, and uh, Shepard was in the mix with them as well, and Drellos kind of changed lanes and kind of went up. I think it kind of surprised Eric, and he put his right rear up there on the cushion, got over the top went over the bank and then it caught the lip on the other side and he ended up getting upside down. The rundown looks like this. The win was, goes to the 9S of uh, Matt Shepard. Finishing in second was Larry White. Great run for Larry. Another guy that needed a rebound after a tough uh, Billy Whitaker Cars 200 here a week ago. Uh, Matt Williamson stayed right in the mix. He'll finish third and we'll talk about where we're, where we're at here momentarily with that. Billy Decker came back from a broken rear suspension all the way back up to finish in fourth and you got to give a hand to this kid, Jack Laner, the Ginger Ninja coming home in fifth. And he had a great run. You had a chance to talk with him. Yeah, Jack's confidence is all-time high right now. He had a fantastic run, but all the way up until lap 73, 74 restart. And for a while, we are starting to think in the grandstands, Laner might have this one yeah. because restart after restart through the middle of that race, he was faster than White, faster than Decker. Even at one point, Decker poked his nose out in front, a lot of lap, but then Laner comes right back and drives right back by him. So, Laner, great run tonight. First top five in the Super Dirt Car Series. He's feeling great right now, and he'll be back in the tour full time next year. I'll have an exclusive interview with him posted online shortly after this, so take a look at that when you're done. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a lot of content here from Brockville here tonight, uh, but we talked about Matt Shepard with the win. Matt Williamson finished third, and I chatted with him afterwards, and he said, This is the worst car I've ever driven to a podium finish, so that's a pretty good night for Matt uh, Williamson. And now, unofficially going into Charlotte. We've heard the gap is a tie. We've heard it's six points. So we'll say it's somewhere in there. We're not really sure, but we know it's freaking close. I think that's the only thing you can say. And uh, it's going to be fun when we get to the dirt track of Charlotte here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, for right now, I would say the momentum's on Shepard's side. I mean, he won by a lot tonight from 12th. He didn't redraw good as usual. Typical Shepard there, but drove from 12th up to the win, won by a straightaway. I would say the momentum's on his side, but like you just said with Williamson, he, he thought he had a terrible car and still drove it to third. So Charlotte should be great. If both of those guys are on their game, it's going to come down to whoever beats who. Yeah. And the thing is, we got one more momentum builder coming up here next week, of course, uh, Eastern States at the Orange County Fair Speedway. So another opportunity for these guys to kind of duke it out and uh, figure things out before we head to Charlotte and get a little bit more momentum. We obviously know Matt Williams and how good he was and the 100 grand race back in August. And that was kind of the turning point of his season. Not that he wasn't winning before, but he's been on fire since. Of course, Matt Shepard won the first two races prior to that. So those guys will have a chance to, to go at it one more time before we get to Charlotte here in a couple weeks. Next week at the Orange County Fair Speedway, of course, I'll be there. Kenny Bruce will be with me. And uh, we'll be doing recap videos. We'll have interviews and all of that, just like we have here from Brockville. But final thoughts, you know, great night here at Brockville and Terry Speedway. The M Mother Nature threw him a curveball. It is free. Uh, this, we say that we've been saying this the last few races. It's freezing. But Super Dirt Week was warm compared to what we've been experiencing here as of late. So it's cold tonight. But uh, fortunately, we got this race in, you know, in, in the track. We, we saw a decent race, a good race. You saw a guy win from 12th. Yeah, it was good show, especially considering the weather challenges they were given. We got some pretty crazy storylines heading into Charlotte and next weekend between, I would say, the two clear-cut favorites, Shepard Williamson. Obviously, they're the only two favorites for the Super Dirt title, but 
next week's going to be great between those two. Throw in the rest of the guys. They're more incapable of winning. Guys like Perego, guys like White, guys like Decker. It's going to be an awesome show next week, and then we're going to carry that straight into Charlotte the week after. I can't wait. I love, I know I love this time of the year, but I hate this time of the year because obviously that means time's winding down when we head back to Eastern States. But for all of us here at Dirt Track Digest, don't forget, check us out. Check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. We can use all the subscribers we can get, and you'll see these videos on the front page of Dirt Track Digest as well. So for Bobby Sweeney, my name is Mike Mount. Thank you so much for checking these out, and we'll catch you down the road at the races.